Yeah. Great. I mean, this is my hometown. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, part of coming to this festival has been uh, hanging out with my parents, sleeping in my old bedroom. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, it, and it's been really, I mean, I, you know, growing up in Wingham was a very special experience uh, because of the sort of work I do. Uh, I do a lot of television work, so I'm not able to really live in a small town anymore. I have to live in a in, I gotta live in a Toronto, larger yeah, center. Yeah, it's yes, the only place it's more where film production is being done. Yeah. So, uh, so you miss it. Like, yeah. you really do forget that you're not fighting traffic. It doesn't take you 30 minutes to get mm -hmm. groceries. It doesn't. You know, the the yeah. the, the whole pace. The atmosphere, just the energy in the town is so refreshing. So I've been really soaking that up. Yeah. Uh, this morning we went to. Uh, that's the other thing is that all the writers are hanging around. So uh, I've been. Uh, Lisa Moore, I didn't know very well. We've been hanging around, and certainly Marilyn, and uh, and all that sort of stuff. So that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and it's also all the, well, because the venues are smaller and the the crowds are more intimate. It's been a really fun experience because it's, I mean, it's a little intimidating because you're like really in face to face with the readership. Yes. Where yes. usually when you're doing a reading is like, you know, there's it's you're lost in a crowd, mm -hmm. right? There's a real sense of performer. An audience where this is everything gets kind of mixed up. It seems like a mingling. Yeah, totally. I've, I've totally. seen that. I've observed it. So yeah. Yeah. It seems which, like there isn't a line. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> the heart <art> sometimes <laughs> too. But uh, I mean, I think that's part of the experience. So I think that that is distinctly unique. I have to say, I haven't yeah. experienced that sort of thing at any other festival I've been at. So. Well, well, that's a good thing. It's Very a favorable good. experience. Yeah, yeah. That's it's great. Really, it's been really good. Yeah. Um, so what's coming up next for you? Are you working on any uh, new new books, I am. new I'm screenplays? A, I have. I thought I was done. <laughs> uh, I have a project that I thought was done, yeah. um, and I just recently got it back from my first readers. So I have two or three people who I give it to first, and uh, uh, everybody just wants more. It doesn't feel like the story ends where it ends. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> so I guess I, I don't know. I'm gonna go back into it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's the first time I've ever done a first person. Again, it's another. The the conceit in this one is that there's a guy uh, who was born basically three quarters pixie. He's mm -hmm. got like pointy ears. Uh, okay. He's got That's the cool. eyes. Uh, and he has a tendency to float when he gets really excited, but he's constantly <laughs> trying to hide. That's, that's a neat skill. <laughs> and so, uh, but he's he's wife. He's about to. He's, my wife's going to give birth in about two weeks, two or three weeks. So he's writing his daughter, his yet unborn daughter, a letter on. It's like, if, you know, if she comes out looking like him, ah. uh, you know, yep. she's going to be beautiful and wonderful, yep. but she's going to have to learn to deal with that. So, yeah. So that, that's it's a, a challenge. Uh, the advice. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I mean, and in, in a strange way, it's the most, this will also sound weird, but it's the most autobiographical thing. <laughs> I, I, it's set in Wingham. Yeah. Uh, and well, there's neat. like a pretty one to one. The high school is the high school. The yeah. the the house that he lives in is up on Patrick Street. It's all well, so it's interesting. It's yes, really definitely. interesting to be here right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well well thank you very much, Andrew. I really appreciate you taking the time to oh. out of your busy schedule to come out here mine. for a quick chat. <laughs> <All> <laughs> thank, right, you. thank you. Have a okay. good day.